Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is something that people have wanted with Unify for years. If you go back to when the USG first came out, you can find postings on the Ubiquity community where people were asking, how do you disable NAT in Unify? And up until recently, you couldn't disable NAT in, uh, on Unify um, unless you used a, you know, a JSON file. And that was always hit or miss. And when changes happened, and it was just a mess, right? So we always had people use edge routers or, you know, other devices that could do that. Well, now Unify gateways can disable that. And let me show you how to do that. So we are here at my UDM SE demo. We're going to go to settings were first so a lot of the times uh, when you when you want to disable NAT it's because you have a routed block of actual IP addresses right and you want to be able to hand those hand those out assign those you don't want to do necessarily a one-to-one -one NAT or anything like that right so that's really where this is going to help you so what we're going to do is we're going to come into the networks here we're going to do a new virtual network and since it's not the default network it's going to be a vlan right so we're just going to call this my routed ips now i have absolutely no idea who who owns these ips and i'm just going to make this up on the fly right here you do have to disable auto scale network so we're going to uncheck that and we're just going to do like 12.150.16.1 we're going to give ourselves this class c uh, right here it warns you the specified subnet is public and can be used by locations on the internet use a private subnet in a range listed below to avoid reachability issues so if you don't own these ips do not use them if, if you're doing public ips you either need to be leasing them or you need to own them in order to use them them properly now we can come down here um, you could turn on DHCP for this you could change the VLAN ID you could isolate these you could do anything that you can with any other um, subnet I'm going to disable DHCP we're gonna go ahead and hit add so now we've got this network now what we need to do is we need to come down to routing and then we need to go to NAT by default, you're going to have this global NAT settings as auto, right? So to get to where we disable NAT for that network, we need to uncheck auto. And then right here, we are going to exclude networks from NAT. And right here, the little tooltip tells us the networks that are excluded from NAT. Generally, these are networks using public IP address ranges. So I'm going to hit select network. I'm going to hit my routed IPs and I'm going to hit save and apply changes. And now NAT is going to be disabled for that IP range. There's some other NAT things in here too. Like this is much closer to what uh, people were wanting, you know, how the edge router worked. Um, so if you've got questions about that, let me know. But this should work. Is it, let me know uh, down in the comments if you are using this in production let me know how it works if you are using it in production if you want to see anything else as far as source nat destination nat masquerading let me know down in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment and share follow me on twitter and tiktok those links are down below along with affiliate links a patreon link and if you need it consulting if you want somebody to look over your network settings to make sure that everything is up to snuff and that uh, or you need help doing something like this, go on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's right there on the front page, and somebody will be, someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, head on over to community.willyhow.com and continue this conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.